My name is Leonard Lasko, and I'm a physician, an obstetrician, gynecologist by uh, profession. And I uh, started to do healing work uh, over the years. People are usually interested in how that came to be. I was in a deep meditation a number of years ago. I had a revelation that my work was to heal with love. And at that time, I didn't know what it meant, but I knew that it was true. And then over the years, I discovered, in fact, what that meant. I began to do select work with, uh, with patients in my office. And uh, what might be called miracles occurred. As a consequence of that, I decided to go into the laboratory in a number of universities in the area that I lived, San Francisco Bay Area, and explore what was happening in the realm of healing. That revelation was that my work was to heal with love. But what was this love that was responsible for the healing. So I went into the laboratory and I began to explore with initially with uh, with uh, bacteria. Uh, and then subsequently with cancer cells grown in tissue culture. Uh, because when I, I discovered in doing healing work with my patients that there were so many variables involved with, uh, with healing. In fact, there was, of course, the placebo effect, where, as you know, you give someone a, uh, a sugar pill or an injection of a salt solution, tell them that it's a medication and uh, approximately 30 even up to 50% of people would, would actually respond. So it was important to go to the laboratory and find out what was happening in the interaction between me and my, my, my patients. Because I knew that what was happening was more than simply a belief. This was beyond belief. There was an interaction between my consciousness and the consciousness of those that I was working with, but how to determine that. So that's why I started working initially with bacteria, salmonella, which causes dysentery in humans. And my intention when I started working with the bacteria was to just reduce their growth rate using intentionality. Uh, and I, so I looked under the microscope uh, at the petri dish containing the bacteria as the start of this exploration. And suddenly I had uh, what you might be call an epiphany. It seemed to me that these bacteria had as much right to exist as I did because they were created by the same source that created me. They were created by the same creator that created me, and they had as much right to be here as I did. Just from my human perspective, I call them pathogens. They produced what I call disease. But that shift, that total acceptance of their presence shifted something in me. My awareness dropped all the conditioned filters that I had had all my training uh, just dropped away in those moments and I totally accepted unconditionally the existence of this bacteria. And when that happened, my awareness began to vibrate at the same frequency as the consciousness of that 
bacteria. In essence, we were like two tuning forks with the same frequency. We became one energetically. And then when I induce, introduced an intention in that field of oneness or wholeness, I, was, I found subsequently that I could reduce their growth rate by 50% relative to contemporaneous controls. And what I realized was that when I unconditionally accepted their existence, that's another way of expressing unconditional love. Because if you stop to think about it, if you unconditionally are accepted exactly as you are, without any exceptions, what you would feel is loved.